guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here how's it going so today as you guys can see here i'm obsessed with this look this look was inspired by ash got cakes look she did a 90s inspired kind of grunge look so it's inspired by her and also the 90s i'm not gonna say i'm a 90s baby i was born in 99 but i didn't like live through the 90s so i wasn't i was one years old you know so anyway <laughs> i kind of looked back at older pictures as well and came up with this look pretty much everything is very matte we did a nice dark look and i'm obsessed with it i never do these looks but i thought it turned out amazing so if you guys like today's video or just looks like this and want to see more makeup videos please give today's video a thumbs up it really helps me and i appreciate it also these are the same lashes this one looks like it's been through just hell so let's not mind that but anyway if you guys are obsessed like i am make sure to check the description box down below i'm going to try to link everything to the best of my ability that i use i'm pretty sure i mentioned every little last bit of makeup i use but if you're curious check the description i'll even have like my outfit and like hoops whatever linked for you if you're curious so again thanks so much for watching today's video guys i'm so excited for you to see it let's get into it so when i think of 90s grunge i definitely think of more of a matte look but i'm gonna keep my base pretty refreshed right now so we might look a little oily but at the end we'll make sure everything is pretty matte so i'm gonna go in with the spray all day by grace and stella this is just like a rose water hydrating mist Next up, I'm gonna take this Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. I actually recently just got this and I really like how like dewy my face looks with it. I'm just gonna let that soak in. Then lastly, for a primer, I'm gonna take this No Pore Blem Prime Essence. Now this is like a liquidy version, very similar to an oil. I do have, I used to have like the almost like moisturizer version. This isn't it, but it does have more of like a moisturized texture to it, but this is oily. It's different, but I do like it. Like I was saying, I definitely, oh fuck, <laughs> that is not coming out. I definitely do like my base a little bit more hydrated recently. I definitely used to go for more of a matte base, but I am more on the like dry to combination skin. So I really like how refreshed this makes me feel. So I feel like my foundation doesn't get like crusty. <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went for a little bit bolder and thinner of a brow. I know it's not that thin, but I did use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I always use this. I set it with this NYX tinted brow mascara. Everything I use will be linked down below so if you guys are curious I will list that <laughs> so for the eyes this is more of a grungy look like I had said before as you guys saw in the beginning so I'm trying to go in with one palette so I'm gonna take the essentials from Violet Voss and I'm gonna start off by mixing sand right here and dusty rose and putting that in my crease like I said, this look was inspired by Ash Got Cakes and she went for more of like a magenta color rather than like a pure brown. And I really liked how that turned out on her. So I'm kind of going for that as well. Okay, then right away, I'm, I can blend this out a little bit more, but I'm gonna go in with cinnamon, which is this almost like I'm seeing a little tint of red to it and also brown. I think that'd be the perfect color. Literally cinnamon, The sometimes I just am dumb. But I'm gonna start just adding that in there to just build the color and get a really solid base going. So now that I have both eyes pretty even, again, guys, I'm no professional. I'm just doing this for fun. I'm gonna go back in with that same palette. Like I said, this is actually a really good palette for this look. I'm gonna go in with black right here, just on a really flat brush, and I'm going to put this right above my lashes, like a liner, really, but just a really thin line. This is so hard considering I'm like blind. So before I do my whole foundation, I'm going to kind of conceal and also contour. Um, I have a few zits I really need to cover. It is my time of the month and it's showing. I'm also kind of going to slightly contour underneath my eyes to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna blend it in with a Real Techniques blending brush. This is just a dual sided brush and it doesn't need to be perfect cause foundation is gonna go over this, but I'm just trying to kind of cover up any dark spots really or problem areas and I really need to start doing this on like all my makeup like every single makeup routine sometimes I just forget like it's never really been part of my routine to cover up spots or like red areas but as you guys can see I'm pretty red like all the dang time because I have such fair skin and also like I just have red spots I think okay so when it comes to the eyes I'm just going to slightly buff it out really slowly try not to mess anything up pretty much just creating like a nice implied line love that I look crazy I know but next up for contour you guys this 
this is my most prized possession. I love this. I don't even think NYX makes it anymore and I probably shouldn't use it if they don't make it, but I've had this for a while now. Uh-oh, there's break. And this is the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in Caramel. It just blends so nicely and works like so effortlessly as a really nice contour. I absolutely love it. Every time I use it, I try to like find it or like a similar product. I really don't think they have it anymore, which is such a bummer because they need to bring this back. NYX, if you're watching, I know you're not, but <laughs> you need to bring that back. I'm also using a BH Cosmetics, and this is a BoxyCharm brush, but I just got this as well, one of my newer products. And it's a little, like the bristles are a little tough, and I love how dense it is. Like it's so nice, and I feel like it doesn't pick up like any makeup. So I really don't like to use a beauty blender because I feel like the beauty blender just like swallows up all your makeup. I look very high contrast right now, but we're gonna go in with foundation and fix that. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Foundation in 185. Now this is very dry. I feel like I've heard it's dry. I've seen the reviews and I don't mind it because I oiled myself up before we did this for my base. So I use quite a lot of oils. So that's why I feel like it will look much better. So I used to just use it on just my normal primed skin, which is fine. But over a few hours, I felt like I was getting like really crusty. And also when I think of like 90s, I think of very bronzy, very warm colors. Hence my outfit here, but we're going for a very bronzy look. I'm actually going to switch brushes. This is my Morphe Y6. I think it's now an M6. This is just like my go-to for foundation. And I've been trying to like adjust and use that boxy charm brush, but it's just not it. I've had my ears pierced since not that young, probably since like fifth grade. And I, everybody asked me like, do you have gauges? And I'm like, no, I've just accidentally yanked on my earring so many times it's ripped, but I just did that again and it hurt. Okay, so now I'm gonna bake my face. I'm just gonna go in with a dry, you guys, I didn't even conceal. Okay, we're okay. I quickly wiped it off and concealed with that e.l.f. concealer. <laughs> now I am going to set my face and I'm pretty much just gonna bake my under eyes and my forehead. Just use whatever's left over and a little on my chin. These are just the most oiliest parts of my face. And again, we're going for more of like a matte look, but super bronzy at the same time. While that kind of soaks in, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my e.l.f. contour palette and take these top two colors and just go on like the cheek area and the rest of my forehead, just so I do not get muddy. Like that is my issue. It's weird because I have dry skin, but I still get really muddy. I don't even know much about makeup. Like, does that actually have anything to do with it? But <laughs> I feel like it does. So next up, I still haven't wiped off everything. So my under eyes might be a little light, but we're going to take the Park Ave Princess palette from Tarte. And I'm going to take Princess Cut right here and just go in, you guys. <laughs> I recently just got this palette and I love bronzing shade. Like a lot of these are really nice. I'm not sure if they have other colors though, which I mean, they definitely should because this is kind of pretty light for bronzer. I definitely do like this. Ooh. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe blush palette. And since this is more of like a 90s grunge look, I feel like there was really no like light pinks. That's more like, I don't know, soft glam. <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna mix MUA and Provocative. These are some pretty deep, rich colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. Definitely not something I would typically reach for because they are pretty dark. But since I'm mixing it with Provocative, I feel like it'll have like a nice pickup. Who knows, I could mess the whole thing up right now. Okay. So I did add a little bit of translucent powder right here. I felt like I was getting a little muddy. So we're just gonna let that sit, but I do feel like a little pop of color on the inner corner would look nice. I'm gonna go back in with my blush palette. It does have some really pretty like deeper shimmers to it. And I think I'm gonna take Babe. This It's a deeper, more like champagne brown hue to it. So I really like that. Mm, I can't say brown, little rose, I guess. <laughs> So I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna pop on some lashes, but for lips, I'm gonna line them with the NYX liner in Nude Beige. Now, Nude Beige, it sounds pretty light, but for me, it is pretty dark on my skin tone. And then I'm gonna kind of lighten it up and do that whole ombre effect. So this is definitely pretty dark. I'm gonna go in with more of like a pinky cranberry color to match the eyes. Now this is from Sam Marcel, not cranberry. This is more like just pinky nude. And I'm gonna top that in the middle here.
Alright guys, this is the finished look. I'm so glad I did this. I just popped on my lashes. These are the same lashes, but this one looks like it's been through like hell and back. So this is kind of my recreation of Ash Got Cakes. I love that name. <laughs> Video again, this is 90s inspired. So it's 90s inspired and also inspired by her. So I'll leave her stuff down below. I love how this turned out. Hers was definitely more a little bit browner, a little bit darker of a lip, but for my whole complexion here, I thought it looked really nice. Again, if you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Really helps me and my channel grow. And again, if you do like makeup videos, please give it a thumbs up as well. And let me know what you guys want to see next down below, looks wise, or you want me to try out a new product. I'd love to know. Again, thanks so much for watching you guys, and I will see you in my next video.